Hi guys, I'm here. I got some empties for you. Um, I just wanted to mention before I get started on that um, that the way I'm going to be doing my videos coming up probably might be, I don't know, I don't, I don't know how it's going to work exactly. Um, I'm going to be getting back into school so studying is going to be taking up a lot of my time so I may not do like the weekly Sunday um, CVS hauls and things like that. I probably won't be doing that much of that unless there's like some awesome deal that I just gotta have. But if it's just like the daily stuff, like things I really don't need and I was doing it just so, for the sake of, you know, showing a good deal, I probably won't be doing that any longer. Um, we'll see what happens as it goes on. It just depends on the time. Um, different subjects take more time and it just really just depends. And this is gonna be going on for, for a little while, so. Um, so I hope you guys stick around for everything, um, but I'll still be putting videos up and everything, but, um, I just wanted to let you know, cause you might see some differences in, you know, like on my Sunday videos and stuff like that, how I normally do CVS hauls. Um, and sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, it just depends on what's going on. But, um, and, um, how I normally do my videos, I usually record them all on the same day, most of the time, unless it was the CVS haul because that's on a Sunday. But I usually take Saturdays and I go ahead and do everything on a Saturday and then I'll just um, upload them here and there sporadically throughout the week. Um, so that's how I normally do it. Um, but anyway, so I have an empties video for you. And uh, let me go ahead. I've been holding off on this forever. I've been wanting to do it. I just haven't had the chance to do it. All right, so let me go ahead and just get started. The first thing that I have here, I got this in the mail yesterday. Um, it was the elderberry from Zarbies. It was like a free sample from Zarbies. I ate it as soon as the video was over yesterday and these things are so yummy. Oh my gosh, if you need something for um, zinc and vitamin C, like a immune system kind of um, boost, these things are awesome. I would highly suggest it. It's so good regarding boosting and all that stuff eh, I don't know but it's got lots of vitamins A, E, Zinc and C so the next thing that I finished up in vitamins is this um, Nature's Bounty Hair Skin and Nails Gummies these are so yummy too I don't know how they make vitamins taste so darn good oh. so you're supposed to take these um, I think it's two twice a day take uh, two gummies one or two times a day with meals um, like when I would be getting ready for work I have this in my on my vanity and I would take two because I'll be starving and I'm like okay I'll take this to hold me off until I can eat something and um, they're so good um, my hair skin and nails I mean my hair is good and my skin is good my nails they're kind of I don't know what's going on with them the weather is really dry and that tends to mess with me and my my you know my nails and all that stuff but I'm um, also taking some other stuff to help with that as well. But these are really good. If you can get a good deal, I'd suggest to go ahead and get them. They have them in pill form too. All right, this I got in, I think it was a birch box. This is the macadamia. Oh. <laughs> okay, it's the macadamia natural oil flawless cleansing conditioner. So it's something similar to, what's that other stuff that you get on TV when? But the one is like a conditioner. This is like a foam. It's almost like um, like a mousse, but a different texture. It comes out just like a mousse, and it's just oh, it's it's just a different texture. It's weird. It doesn't have like the best scent, but I really actually like this. And out of this sample can that I got out of the birch box, I think I did my hair maybe six times or maybe more. Um, and I really liked it a lot. It, my, it made my hair feel good. I don't know. I just really, really liked it. I, I really thought that I was not going to like it because, um, if it, it was comparable to like the when and it's, it was really good. It didn't leave my scalp all greasy or anything like that. It, it left my hair nice and soft and, and healthy looking and, and not weighed down. So that was really good. Next thing for hair. Um, this is the Hask Argan Oil. This is the shampoo. No, this is the conditioner. This stuff is really, really good. The one in, I have two of them. There was this one and then there's one that was in, has like a silver kind of um, cap. Um, this one with the Argan. Um, it smells almost like lemon. It's very citrusy. Lemon, and, and when I first used it, it reminded me of like 
pledge. I swear that's what it smelled like but it does amazing things for your hair it's really really great it says that it strengthens and restores as soon as I use this my hair just feels amazing and everybody always asks me what did you do to your hair it was this you can get this at CVS for like six bucks they have this one and they have the silver one I would recommend the silver one is the keratin one so I wouldn't use a keratin um, every single day I'd use it like once a week or something like that but excellent excellent I love that Oh, this one. Okay, I've got two of these, or maybe three. It came in like a little sample like this. I think it came in a birch box, but we also got it as a free sample for signing up somewhere along the way, somewhere. I don't know. And it came with these in these little tiny packets. So it had the shampoo, conditioner, and it had like the, is it a BB? What is it called? A primer. And I was like, hmm, what is that? So you're supposed to put the primer, the pre-wash, pre into your hair before you obviously wash your hair because it's a pre-wash. I wasn't sure if you were supposed to put this on wet or dry. I did it wet because I assumed that's the best way to do it. And I put it in my hand and then I just kind of applied it and I started from here and it just kind of sat right there. And it's like strictly like an oil. It was like a slick oil on the top of my hair. <laughs> it was crazy. What it's supposed to do is help repel water from taking the color out of your hair. I have to sneeze. <coughs> so, <clears throat> I mean, you're washing your hair to repel the water, it's weird, whatever. So, to, to repel the water to prevent the color from draining out of your hair. So, like I said, I didn't know, it was the first time I used it and it just kind of puddled up on I think it was like this side of my head and I was so pissed and I was like really they should have given better instructions so then I tried to use the con the shampoo shampoo I had to use another thing I had to wash my hair three times to get that slick out of my hair so I wouldn't recommend you put it on the roots even though that's where you really want it because that's where the color you want to stay the longest <sighs> I don't know I, I just did it wrong maybe and the conditioner was eh, whatever the container, cute, right? A cute container. You can't get anything out of it. This is like the worst idea ever. Worst, I don't know. I don't know why I keep talking about that. Wasted my time. All right, these MYM eye, uh, says collagen crystal eye masks. Um, the funny thing about this, it says right here, right down here, makes you feel like a celebrity. Hmm. -mm. They came, when you put them on your face, they were like these little eggs that you would put on your face. I think I talked about this before. I think I might have put it in empties, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, they, they are. You can see the shape of it. It's like these little white eggs that you stick on your face. That's how I describe them. They feel amazing. Some people, it irritates their skin and it bothers them. But for me, it wasn't. It was awesome. It felt fantastic and cooling. It was just such a relaxing treatment. Um, I would really recommend these. These are awesome. As long as, I guess, if you don't have sensitive skin. So um, I'll go ahead and put links down below for this one. You can get it on Amazon. You can look it up. Collagen Crystal Eye Mask by MYM. Um, has some CVS baby wipes. Always a good deal at CVS. They always have like coupons where you can get them for like a dollar or free or something like that. So I use them to like clean off um, makeup swatches and things like that um, or just to wipe my face down if I'm, I keep them by my bedside also. Um, so I can just, if I forget to take off my makeup at night, I can just take it and wait, take my makeup off in a rush. All right, next is this CoverGirl one by one. This I've had forever and I would still whip it out every so often and use it. It's a waterproof one. It's the only waterproof mascara that I actually used. Like when I would go on my mud runs and my color runs and all those different things, I would make sure I would use this so that my mascara wouldn't drip off my face while I'm running through the water or swimming in the water or diving into the mud. So this was really great. So I just need to pick up another waterproof mascara. Any suggestions? Let me know. All right, next, oh, is this? Okay, here it is. From Tony and Guy. I think this was from the Target Beauty Box, maybe? Um, unless it was a Birch Box. I think it was Target, though. Um, this is the shampoo and conditioner for dry and damaged hair. I really liked it. It was really nice. And this bottle, I think I washed my hair three or four times. 
It smells kind of masculine, but I really liked the way it made my hair feel. So yeah, it was really good. And I think you can get it at Walgreens now. I think I've seen it at Walgreens. So uh, smell it first because you may not like the smell. It's kind of weird. It's To me, it's kind of weird. It's very masculine. Next is from Crest 3D White. This is a polishing treatment. I got this from Expo TV ooh, way back when to do a review on. And you're supposed to use this after you brush your teeth to kind of polish. You know how when you go to the dentist and they give you, right before they leave, they polish your teeth with that gritty stuff? It's like that. It's not as gritty, but it's similar to that. It's got like a little bit of grit to it. And um, I thought it did a good job. I liked it. It made my, feel, my teeth feel like, you know, when you rub your tongue across your teeth after the dentist and it's nice and slick like that. This was good. But it came in, it was like a two-step thing that they sent to me. It was like a whitening and then this. Oh, this was good. This is the Biore self-heating one-minute mask. It is just a thick mud-like mask. You can kind of see it right there on the edge. Um, and as soon as you apply it to your skin, I don't know if it's the water that makes it heat up or what. Um, oh yeah, when you wet your face and then you apply this to your wet face. And I think the water um, turns it on. I don't know what you want to call it. Whatever. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Um, makes it work. Um, and it just has like this warmth and heat in it. Oh my gosh. If you like face masks and you like a face mask that you can feel that does something, whether it be a cooling sensation, a heating, a tightening, a this, a that, you should try this. This is really, really good. The warmth it does it feels so good. And clay masks in general just pull all these toxins out of your face anyway. Really good. CoverGirl Outlast. Um, this is the three in one. This shade is 845. I have another one in my bathroom. I think it's a, the one that's a little bit lighter than this. Um, I really like this and I like it to mix with my Revlon Color Stay. The mixing of the two together is just awesome. It gives like an all day. My makeup doesn't transfer off during the day. It's really, really good. It doesn't like dry your face out. Like I bought the new Maybelline Pore matte and poreless mm, I don't think I really like that one too much it like it looks good at the beginning but during the day when you go look at yourself your face is so dry and wrinkly it's too drying I don't like that but this is really really good so I do have to go get another one because I'm running out of the other one that I have as well um, this is the Garnier BB cream this is the newer version it's not new anymore it's in medium deep combination to oily skin um, so this one is the more liquidy version. They have the first one that they came out with is more like a lotion like and this one's like as soon as you open it it'll drip right all over the place. It is highly pigmented. You could just use this if you want if you are like me and need like a fuller coverage. Um, you could just use this but I would use this in combination with something else because it was a little bit dark. Um, you can use the medium deep and the light together or mix this with your foundation if your foundation is too light and this is this would be a great mix with it um, So I really love this. Thankfully. I have like six more of them Next is this yes to clear skin. It says the acne version. I Hated this stuff. I hated it so much. The cloths were very thin but the reason why I hated this is that ever since I used it, I broke out like crazy. And it doesn't make any sense because it has salicylic acid in it and it's supposed to help clear your skin. This sucker broke me out. I would stop using it. Like when I went on vacation, I didn't bring it with me and my skin kind of was like calming down and everything. And I was like, huh, okay. I came home and I started using these wipes again and I broke out again. So I was like, oh, it's the wipes. Never. Right. This... I took a few of these on vacation and I used a few of them when I was away in Universal. Diagon Alley, awesome. It was so much fun. Anyway, um, so this is the Total Care. This is the shampoo. I had the conditioner. I used a couple of them while we were away. So really good. Um, I'd recommend it. It's supposed to be like for your scalp, like you're supposed to use the conditioner also into your scalp. Normally I don't put conditioner in my scalp because it'll leave my hair weighed down because I have kind of thin hair. I have a lot of it, a long hair, but it's it's not thick, whatever. So it normally weighs down my scalp. This is the Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. I've had this one forever and I finally just used it up 
and um, I know people say that they love this stuff but let me tell you for me I loved it too but it creased like the Dickens so for that I would never repurchase it again and this is the second one I purchased unless I have another one in there a third one but I try because everybody's like oh I love this stuff I love this stuff it's perfect for under your eyes da -da 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 it creases every single time I no matter what I do it doesn't matter it creases it's the worst thing for my under eyes it covers really nice it has a good finish but 10 o'clock in the morning I'm all creased up don't like it uh, next is from Tarte this is a clean slate flawless um, obviously this is a sample um, a it's a primer. I cut the top of it off to make sure I got every last little bit of it. I really like this one a lot. It was kind of um, very smoothing and very luminous. Like it had like a little, I don't even know if, it had like a little opalescence to it and it was really, really nice. Um, it's more like a, a thin lotion texture than um, a silicone-like texture. Um, Mira Day Cream I see, let's see. I wrote on the back of this thing that I got two to three uses out of it and it just smelled like straight sunscreen. Um, but you know, whatever, it was okay. Um, it was forgettable. So, I mean, I don't know. If you don't remember it, then it must not be that good. Hmm. I have tops to things in here that I've cut off. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin. I know what that is, um, but it's not in here. I must've talked about it already. Got some Prilosec OTC, really good for heartburn. Um, that's it, there's nothing else in the bag. So thank you guys so much for checking it out and watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below and I will see you again in another video. Bye.